Hello, my name is Gustavo Lopez. I'm a PhD candidate at the VMEC program. The title of my presentation is Detection of Influenza A Virus in Swine Farm Workers Before and After Work. Influenza is an evolving virus and it, which makes it very difficult to control. It is a shared disease between animals and people. As you can see in the graphic below, it affects multiple species. It also has the ability to sustain multiple mutations and have gene reassortments, which gives rise to or the emergence of new strains. The specific aims of our project is that we wanted to implement a surveillance system at that worker-swine interface, so we could study the influenza transmission between pigs and the farm workers. We wanted to evaluate the influenza positivity of the workers before they enter the farm and after they finish working with pigs. And we want also to identify risk factors that could be associated with influenza detection in farm workers. In order to answer or meet our specific aims, we enrolled seven commercial sow farms uh, that had a history of IIV or influenza problems in the pigs. In these farms, we enrolled or workers voluntarily enrolled to participate in the study. Uh, we enrolled a total of 66 swine farm workers. Uh, the study consisted of eight weeks uh, on which the farm workers will take samples twice a week before and after they enter the farm. And that's depicted here on the yellow stars, the sampling points of the humans or the swine workers. And on the red stars, they represent the sampling points of the pigs. We did that on three different times. Again, these farms had a history of influenza positivity on the pigs. And we also, in the human part, we also took a temperature check in the morning when they will enter the farm and they answer a questionnaire. We will ask things like, uh, how uh, do you have any influenza-like symptoms? Do you have fever? Do you feel okay? Trying to get to that risk factors identification for testing IIV posi positive. Uh, and here on the lower right, we have a graphic of the CDC monitoring influenza gray program where depending on when we saw that rise of influenza cases in a specific region, we will then start our study to try to uh, increment or increase our chances of detecting influenza positives on the, on the humans. Once we obtain those nasal swabs, whether from the pigs or the humans, we will do PCRs specific for swine or a CDC provided PCR to detect human and swine influenza samples. We also had a subtyping PCR that allows to differentiate between the H3s, pandemic H1 and the seasonal H1. Here I have a summary of the results of my study. Here we have the, on the left side the farms and the participants separated by the farm which, in which they were working on. We have the, uh, on the horizontal line, we have the eight weeks that the stu study took place and we have uh, AM and PM, meaning the sample that was taken before work or after they were working with pigs. Uh, the green or light green square represents a sample that was taken but tested negative to IIV. The red one, red one represents a positive sample before the worker entered the farm and a blue one represents a positive IIV after they work with pigs. In total, as you can see, we had a, a 58 positive samples out of 1,814, so a 3.2%. If we separate those by before and after work, 20 of them uh, corresponded to samples in the morning before entering the farm and 38 after. Uh, a total of 33 of the workers uh, out of the 66 that were voluntarily enrolled tested IIV positive at least once. Uh, as you can see in this graphic, there's not a, a clear pattern, uh, but we do see some interesting findings and they're highlighted here, like uh, specific or individual blue squares, meaning a person entered negative but came out of the farm being positive. We, we look at those at probably exposure to influenza that was circulating in the farm. Our results indicate that a number of farm workers may test influenza when reporting to work. We also found evidence of workers' exposure to influenza while working in the farms. And additional analysis will be needed to evaluate that bidirectionality of transmission of influenza between the farm workers and the pigs and what the implications are in the human and animal health. 
थैंक यू